Good morning and welcome to another Daily Devotions with Pastor Joe. I'm Pastor Joe, and I'd like to read from Joshua chapter 3 this morning. I've been real encouraged by Joshua this week. Uh, Joshua 3, 1 says, And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim and came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before they passed over. And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host. And they commanded the people, saying, When ye see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests, the Levites bearing it, then ye shall remove from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about two thousand cubits by measure. Come not near unto it, that ye may know the way by which ye must go. For ye have not passed this way heretofore. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. And Joshua spake unto the priests, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and pass over before the people. And they took up the Ark of the Covenant, and went before the people. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. And this was real encouraging to me. You see the different bold text there was, uh, the emphasis is mine, because each of these points was something that really stood out to me and encouraged me this week. It says, And Joshua rose early in the morning. He wasted no time in getting to God's work. They had just uh, finished with the spies being in town, uh, investigating the city, seeing how the city was, and seeing what they thought about whether God could help them to win the battle. And they came back to Joshua with the positive report, Yes, we are going to win this. We are going to make it. And so they had just been through the battle of uh, marching through this land of giants, they came back to Joshua, gave him the encouraging report, and Joshua immediately, the next morning, he rises early. He didn't wait till noon. He didn't say, well, I'll think about it a few days or a few weeks. He said, yes, let's do this. He got up, went, and made a difference. You know, he, he went out and did God's work right away. Wasted no time getting to God's work. And so, we shouldn't waste any time getting into God's work. And then he says in verse 3, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priests, the Levites bearing it, then you shall remove from your place and go after it. You know, the ark of the covenant of the Lord was their symbol of God. No, it wasn't an idol. It wasn't something they worshipped. But when they saw that ark stand still, they knew it was time to stand still. When they saw it move, they knew it was time to move. They knew that God had uh, told the priests what to do. And they were following what the priests did with that ark. So that ark was their symbol of seeing where God was moving or not moving. And so the idea here is if uh, you see God moving or directing or leading you in your life to a new place, you go to that place. You get up and move. You don't stand back and say, well, I'll wait a little bit and just see if he moves by again. And, you know, I don't really want to follow him in that direction. No, you take and you go in God's direction wherever God is leading. Joshua tells the people in verse 5, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. And sanctify means to prepare, to set apart as holy unto the Lord, to take and, and make separate, right? To separate yourself from the rest of the world, the rest of the things around you. And so he's saying, sanctify yourself, set yourself apart, make sure you're clean, make sure you're ready, because you want to be ready to receive God's blessings. You want to be ready to receive what the Lord is going to give the wonders that God is going to do in your life. And so that's something we should do not only once in a while, not only when we're expecting a blessing or wanting a blessing from God, but we should really remain sanctified, holy, set apart every day so that God can use us and so that God can work the wonders in our life that he wants to work in our life. And he says, As I was with Moses, in verse 7, so I will be with thee. I believe this is a very big promise to Joshua at the time because uh, they had known that Moses was really blessed by God and that God really had made a, a, a marvelous and a, mag a majestic, a, ma a, 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 a massive impact in Moses' life. And Joshua was really looking forward to that. And now here God promises not only that he will be with Joshua, but he will be with Joshua the way he was with Moses. And I believe that's a promise not only to Joshua, but to us today. That if we follow God, if we sanctify ourselves, set ourselves apart, follow him when he moves, and we waste no time in getting to the work, that God will be with us as he was with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, Joshua, uh, the children of Israel, the... the um, disciples of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, um, and, 
and, and Paul and all the others who were involved with all of that and Peter, you know, God will be with us the same way he was with them. If we take the time to follow him whenever he moves and we waste no time in getting into the work and we keep ourselves sanctified, purified before him, set apart for his work, we can trust that he's going to be able to, to and going to want to help us in those times where we need it. So I encourage you today to just take the time to, uh, if you know God's leading you in a certain direction, take waste no time in getting to work with that. Jump into it, whole horse. You know, just get in there with everything you've got and do the work God has for you. If you need to uh, take the time to separate yourself from the things of life around you, do that now so that God can work those wonders in your life. And pray to God, trust in Him that He will be with you the way He was with Moses and Joshua. I trust God will be with you today. Uh, may God bless you richly and help you to have an excellent day in the Lord. Thanks again for joining me for another Daily Devotions with Pastor Joe.